Hello, my name is Charles Cullen. I am 58 years old and I was born in West Orange, New Jersey on February 22, 1960. I'm the youngest of eight children. I never had a good home life. My father was a bus driver. He unfortunately died when I was an infant. I grew up getting bullied and targeted by older kids. I attempted my earliest suicide attempt at age nine when I drank a concoction that I created from a chemistry set. My mother died when I was 17 in an automobile accident. I felt distraught after my mother's death, so I dropped out of high school and joined the U.S. Navy. I didn't stay long in the Navy because I got medically discharged for being mentally unstable. After I left the Navy, I completed my nursing degree and got my first job at St. Barnabas Medical Center in Livingston, New Jersey in 1987. A year later, I was convicted of killing 29 people and that's where it all started. It is March 2nd, 2006. I am at my trial. I know what they are do going to say to me. I lower my head to act like nothing is happening at all in my life. I am receiving hate from the victim's family. They call me Satan's son and they told me to burn in hell. I got 11 life sentences and I wasn't eligible for parole until I served 397 years in prison. Now, some people believe I have done wrong, but I believe that I acted mercifully in killing my victims. I wanted to end their suffering and pain. I was interrogated on December 14, 2003. I told the Somerset County detective that I did not want people to see me as this, what I am. Then the detective asked me, what are you, Charles? I told him, I am a man, a person, who was trusted and had responsibility for a lot of people dying. And that being said, I hate myself for it because I had the right, but I just couldn't stop. I couldn't. The, inve the investigators believe that the real number of victims could be in the hundreds. That part of my life was fogged because I don't remember killing that many people. I asked myself during trial, why, while they were giving me my sentence, is what I did wrong. To them, it was, it was but to me it wasn't because they needed their suffering to end. If only the other people had my point of view to my side. My view changed instantly when I heard some of the victims' families crying. I understand their grief. My parents died when I was a young, at a young age, and I agreed for a good while. I thought to myself, what if it was my family, my daughters, my wife? I would be in the same position they are in. Anger at the killer and in grievance for the loss of a loved one. I came to a conclusion with them myself. I deserve this punishment. If only I had a chance on a new life, a do-over. If I did, I would change my life tremendously. Killing people is who I am right now. If I had a second chance, killing people is who I used to be.